Man, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I'm jealous, guys. I'm truly, really, really, really jealous. What these guys are doing now, honestly, is making me really, really jealous. And honestly, I think any OG, any old cat will be jealous of these new cats. Should I start from Don Jazzy or start from Bonner Boy? Bonner Boy recently sold out a very important venue in Canada, not once, but twice. Twice performed there on Sunday and performed there again on Monday. No, sorry, performed there on Saturday and performed there again on Sunday. Twice. 21,000 capacity times two. That is 42,000 capacity. Just check the amount of millions Bonaboy has racked in just two days. So the venue is called Scotia Bank Arena in Canada. Sold it twice in 48 hours. Ha! Ha! Twice as tall. Twice as tall. Sold it twice. And uh, of course, you heard what Don Jazzy is doing. Well, I have my whole personal uh, feelings when it comes to Don Jazzy matter. Which I'm try, I will try as much as possible to hear out. I will, I, I will say my mind concerning that Don Jazzy multi million US dollar deal. Don Jazzy cannot chop that money alone. Only him cannot chop that money. He must share it among us. He must share it among us because we all contributed one way or the other. Well, big up to uh, Bonner Boy who became the first Africa artist to sell out uh, Scotia Bank Arena in Toronto, Canada. He did these two dates back to back. And let me tell you something about Canada. Not just anyone that can just come to Canada and sell out venues. Not just anyone. Even the American entertainers are unable to do it. Even the American entertainers, majority of all those top entertainers, are unable to do it. Majority of them are unable to do it. But our very own Bonner Boy is doing it. Oh, God damn it. He's doing the numbers. Remember what Whiskey do for O2 Arena? Sold out that venue three times? You know, UK, we already have a lot of Afrobeat there, Afrobeat entertainers there. But we are talking about another country canada you and i know say the only one country make the do 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 that canada can canada well big up to uh bonner boy despite man i'm jealous just check out the money man the list of that ticket is hundred dollar the list the list go from hundred dollar to one hundred fifty dollar the list is hundred dollar 21,000 capacity. Time seed, guys. That's what I had, though. But it might be more than that. But time seed. Let's say approximately $120 per person times 21,000 capacity. Fully sold out. Not quarterly sold out. Twice. Twice. On Saturday and on Sunday. Twice. Fully sold out. Pave the way for other people to pass. Pave the way for other people to pass. So I want to see other artists doing their own. Of course, Bonaboy has done it this time. And uh, I believe uh, other entertainers, Nigeria entertainers precisely, are going to you know, scatter that venue. Just the same way we made O2 Arena our backyard. They are going to scatter that Scott Tia Bank Arena in Toronto. Come on and check the crowd. Both blacks and white and Chinese, Indians, everybody came out. Just check that crowd out. Check that crowd out. Ain't no lies about it. Ain't no lies saying that he, he wasn't able to sell it out. He sold it out twice night. Twice. Twice as tall. Twice as tall. I just found a whole new respect for Bonner Boy, Odogu. 
the Odogu of our time. <laughs> you know, Idris Abu Karim said, Bonaboy is not the Odogu, that the only Odogu you know, now that, okay, let me not start uh, bringing all those kinds of uh, conspiracy theories into this uh, whole conversation. The conversation is about how Bonaboy is called, sold out uh, uh, Scotia, Scotia Banker uh, Arena in Toronto, Canada, and uh, it is a really good thing for Afrobeat. So, really, really good thing for Afrobeat. David is about to sell out MSG in New York City, and he's going to sell it out. Big one. But the next big thing, the next uh, Marchala, that one is just chilling, you know, just working on his uh, album. You know, we are still going to, with Bonaboy is the one on the road constantly. For the past three years, that Bonaboy has not stressed to on the road constantly. And I think eh, people need, all those artists need to improve, improve their way of performance. You see how uh, Bonaboy performed? Bonaboy was able to captivate fans because of his performance. Mainly because of the way he performed. Mainly. Let's be honest. Bonaboy can sing, but he was able to captivate captivate a lot of people because of the way he performed. There are artists that can sell millions of records but can't sell out arenas. Yeah. Why there are artists that cannot sell that millions of records but people are willing to buy their ticket because of the way they perform. I don't want to go to any show and the artists that I want to listen to will be doing backups, back up uh, back up a musician back up for his own music the music dj will be playing music i will just say yeah yeah raise your hands up hearts in the air up 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 one two three go uh -uh, are you a hype man <laughs> we want to hear you sing sing your song sing your song no filter nothing nothing just perform your songs that's what you want to hear you do. That's what you want to see you do. Um, see, I cannot have money I'm spending on uh, on any artist, honestly speaking. I cannot have my money I'm spending on a show that I'm not going to enjoy. I will enjoy my show and I'm going to pay for the show that I think is worth it. So that being said, let's talk about Don Jazzy. Don Jazzy just sold his... According to the headline, they said John Jazzy sold majority stake of Marvin Record to Universal Music Group. Universal Music Group just acquired majority stake in Mavi Records. They came all the way from abroad called Nigeria, called acquire majority stake on Mavi Records. Don Jazzy, only you will not chop that millions alone. Because we already know it worth millions. Only you cannot chop it alone. Only you cannot chop it alone. You have to share and do give away for all of us because we are part of your journey. We remember that when Don Jazzy was with uh, the band. And again, you saw what happened. The band and Don Jazzy broke up. They scatter more it record. More it. They scatter it. Don Jazzy went on to create Marvin Record, became one of the biggest, if not the biggest record label in Nigeria. Let's be honest, it's the biggest local label in Nigeria. There you will see y YBNL. For me, Marvin is the biggest, followed by YBNL. Biggest record label in Nigeria. For more heat to Marvin Record. And you say, God know the work. I remember, according to a very dark man, when Don Jazzy and uh, the band broke up, Don Jazzy almost wanted to buy himself because of the heartbreak. They were almost inseparable. Like, you cannot separate Don Jazzy and uh, uh, the band. Their flow was so unique. Their brotherhood, their music, eh, it's like Don Jazzy and uh, the band were meant for each other. Well, guess what? <laughs> M 
the band was meant, the Don Jazzy was meant to support the band. Without the band, without Don Jazzy, there's no the band. Let's be honest. Without Don Jazzy, there is no the band. But without the band, there is Don Jazzy. And of course, time can time will tell. And time has told us already. Over the past few years, let's be honest. How many songs Don Jazzy don't drop now? After after the band. How many songs the band just drop after Don Jazzy? And how many records Don Jazzy? How many people Don Jazzy don't bring up after the band? Without Don Jazzy, there is no the band. But without the band, there is Don Jazzy. Quote, quote me anyway. We have seen it already. We have seen it. Although the band is really successful, he's a great businessman. But I'm just saying musically. Come on, man. Let's be honest. Musically. Well, like I've said before, Don Jazzy, you are not going to chop that money alone. You're going to share it with us because we are part of your journey. We uplifted you somehow, somehow, somehow. Somehow, somehow. We uplifted you and you are going to share the money with us. Do you know how much that uh, contract will be? Don Jazzy will not disclose it, but in what? Millions of US dollars. Because they are buying majority stake. Abba. You know how much? If that money you know, go, be, go, go reach like 100 million US dollars, 100 or something million US dollars. So. Ah, majority stake. Majority. Don Jazzy, he tried. He tried, Baba. He tried. The great businessman. Cha. The great businessman. Don Baba J. Don Baba J. Well, people are also kind of like worried for Don Jazzy for involving this Europe this uh europe uh, music label because according to a person all those guys are so twisted when it comes to their culture their demonic way of doing contract and everything i hope with this contract they are not going to call or be our afrobeat they are not going to run fando it and maybe put our artists in deep mess you know this record label eh, they still have a way of messing up their artists getting them hooked up in something something i don't know how but i hope it's not going to get there i hope this contract is as clean as white paper and you do music we make, they make money we don't want to start hearing story 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 towards the future you know artists complaining that they cannot drop songs all those kind of stuff laws and everything you know don jazzy please yeah Make sure you understand what you are getting yourself into. This is a really huge company and they have their own Illuminati law, if I may use that word. <laughs> so please, safeguard your artists, eh? safeguard them, please.